Okay, so I call this the five minute drywall repair. Best used with an easy sand 20 or five minute. Let's see in the picture. For best results on ceiling and walls, mix it thick consistency. Mix it up thick like clay, so that way when you put it in a hole on the ceiling or a wall, it will not fall out. No tape needed with this, with this folks, no tape. No drywall tape needed. Okay, I already started skim coating this. Uh, what happened was the customer bought a smaller light and the hole was too big so I had to close it up so you don't want to put the drywall mud on there and then have to come back the next day you want to do it quick fast so I used a uh, 20 minute on this one 20 minute easy sand as you see in the picture I applied it nice and smooth then the trick to this is a heat gun. That one right there is a Wagner. It, this one goes up to 1300 degrees Fahrenheit. You can get one that goes lower than that. I would suggest for beginners because if you hold that in the spot for too long, it'll peel your paint around it. There's the attachment that I use that directs the heat directly toward the spot that I'm trying to connect with. As you see, it start at 650. You can turn it down low, but I turn mine on 1300 degrees because I want mine to dry real fast. Okay, now I'll show you how to keep it moving on the spot so that way it won't heat up and start peeling your paint. Yeah. So best results, just keep it moving. Don't let it sit in one spot. Just keep moving back and forth. And you know that the spot is dry because the mud will start turning white. Notice how I just keep it moving. I don't sit still in one spot. And that right there only takes like a minute or two depending on how big your spot is that you're trying to dry. Notice how I keep it moving. I don't hold it still in one spot. Okay, now it's nice and dry. As you can hear, I knock on it. Nice and solid, ready to sand. I knocked all around in a uh, circle to show you that the whole thing was dry. And then I get my uh, 80 grit sand paper. 80 grit is what I use. But suggested 100 grit to 120 grit. I just like 80 grit because it sands 
real fast, especially if I got some ridges like right there. You can see little ridges. That 80 grit takes it right out real fast. When I'm in the field, everything to me is about speed. Now I'm showing it to you, see how nice and smooth it came out. And there you go, primer paint. You cannot see where the spot was that I repaired. You cannot see it, that is the key.